Okay, today we have a really interesting problem. We have something from the Putnam exam all the way back from 1985. This was problem B5. We have the integral from zero to infinity of t to the minus one half, e to the minus 1985, t plus one over t dt. And they did give us this hint over here on the right. It's just the definition of the Gaussian integral. Um, I don't think it was too much of a hint because when you see a problem like this, you're kind of looking for either the gamma function or the Gaussian integral. But anyway, since they gave us this hint, I don't think I'm gonna hunt around for different methods. I'm gonna kind of just go for this. So what we really wanna do is, we'd like to get this in some form where we can use this. We'd like to reduce this to a square um, or a negative square in the exponent, and then we can make use of our Gaussian integral formula. So my first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a u substitution. I wanna kind of try to take care of this uh, t to the minus one half we have out front here. I'm gonna call this, we'll say u equals square root of t. Then from that, we could also say that t equals u squared and dt equals 2u du. Then let's go ahead and make this substitution. So we'll update our bounds, plugging infinity in here. Square root of infinity is still infinity. And then square root of zero is just zero. Now, this, this t to the minus one half is just going to be one over our u. Okay, then we're going to have e minus 1985. Uh, t is going to be u squared, and then we're going to have a 1 over u squared, uh, and then we're going to have a 2u du out here. I think that's pretty nice because we're going to have our u's cancel, and I can bring my 2 out front here. And then from here, what I want to do, like I said, we're, we have some square terms in here. What I want to do, we want to get this where this thing's going to be squared. So let's just take a look and mess around with 1985 u squared plus 1 over u squared. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll write this as u to the minus 1 over u squared. Now multiplying this out, we get u squared plus 1 over u squared, but then we add, multiplying the inner terms, we're going to have a minus 2. So let me just write what, we did, what happened. We have, we've created a minus 2 here and we have a minus 1985. Together that equals 3970. So just to make this expression true, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract off this 39. 70 just so I don't change the expression and now when I rewrite this integral what we'll do is we'll take this We'll take this piece right here, and that's going to be our exponent Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We have our square term Now let's notice because we're subtracting something in the exponent. We could split this out. We could write this as a separate term We could write this as e to the minus 3970 times this whole business here But this is just a constant value So what I can do when I rewrite this is we'll just bring this in front of the integral so that way we'll just have all of our constant terms out front and we can simplify our integral a little bit more. Okay, now at this point, I kind of have this as simplified as I can get it, I think. We have it, I mean, it kind of looks like the Gaussian integral, right? But the only problem is this is a little bit more complicated. We don't just have, we'd like to just have a u here, okay? So we're basically set up where we have to make another u substitution. But when we do that, what's the, the derivative of this is one plus uh, one over u squared, okay? I need some kind of way to create my uh, one plus one over u squared in front here. And so I think we're gonna do some more work. I'm gonna clean up the board. Okay, so this next step is not gonna be very intuitive. It's a little tricky. I mentioned before that we, we wanna have something like one plus one over u squared in front. Now we have a one here. I need to kind of create this one over u squared. And also we're gonna to need to do another, not u substitution, but we'll call it a v substitution. So let's see how this is gonna work. It's kind of a bind we're in, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a substitution. I'm gonna call, we're gonna do a V substitution. We'll call V one over U. Okay, then that means U is one over V. Then to get my DU value, we we'll are just get our derivative. So that's gonna be DU, and this is gonna be minus one over V squared DV. And now you can kind of see that's kind of like that square term that we wanted, the one over U squared. Okay, we're kind of making some progress there. Let's plug this in and see what it looks like now. So we're gonna have two e to the minus 3970. Then we need to update our bounds. So, okay, plugging in infinity here, one over infinity is going to zero. And then plugging the zero in here, that's gonna be approaching infinity. So we actually flipped our bounds. Then we're gonna have e minus 1985. And then we know we have these terms set up. So we have our u is one over v, and then our, our one over u is gonna be just our v. And for our du term, we're going to have a minus 1 over v squared dv. 
But then from here, what I can do is I can just take this minus sign, use it to change my bounds. Okay, so now we're back going zero to infinity, kind of like what we, same thing what we had up here. And then for my next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the variable back. So we're gonna, let's change it back to u because we already have this in u. We wanna kind of work with these together. And we can do a variable change because we have a definite integral here. So the variable name doesn't matter. So let's just rewrite this all in u. Before I continue, let's do one more thing. I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to line it up with what we have up here, okay? This integral. And what I want, I want this to look really similar, but we have the um, u minus one over u and this one minus u, we have this in a different order. Well, it really doesn't matter because it's squared. So actually if I like just multiply this by a minus one, I can flip the order, but the minus one squared is one. Okay, so by just changing this order, it's not changing the value. Okay, now if you wanna know how we pull this all together, so let's go back to where we were, this integral that we saved. I'm gonna call this i. This is the same thing as our original integral i. Okay, but we also have just been doing equal expressions. So this down here is i. And remember we wanted our derivative to be in front. Okay, so the derivative of this was one plus one over u squared. But we have our one here, and we have our one over u squared here. So when we add these two together, we're gonna to create the derivative that we wanted. So now I've rewritten this, I wrote it all in one integral, right? And I can do that because, so this was two integrals, but because we're in the same variable and we have the same bounds, we moved it into one. And then also I'm essentially, I'm factoring out what's in front, okay? But it's the same thing on both these integrals. So we factor that out in front. Then what we can do is, because this is two copies, we'll actually just cancel this two and two here just to get that over with. And the only thing I wanna do is noticing that this is the same and this is the same. So then let's just clean this up a little bit. So for our integral, we're gonna have our e minus 3970 in front. But now we have a one here and this one plus u squared. So we have one plus one over u squared. And now I really think we have this set up for another substitution. But I'm gonna do one thing before we do that. Now, if we make a substitution here for another variable, you notice we're getting really close to our Gaussian integral, but we have this 1985 in the way. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write this, I'll write this as a square root squared. So it's still 1985, but then we have two, we can write these together because we both, both these terms are squared. So I can kind of rewrite this a little bit. Writing it this way all in one set of parentheses. Now when I make my substitution, We'll make it for this whole value, and then we're gonna be exactly in our form of the Gaussian integral. So let's see how this works. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do for my substitution, let's use x because we haven't even used x yet, and not that it matters because we can use whatever we want. So our x value is gonna be square root 1985 u minus one over u. Let's get a derivative now. dx is gonna be square root 1985. And here, this thing, it's gonna be just one plus one over u squared. Okay, that's basically what we have up front here, but not quite. What I wanna do is, I don't really have the space. Okay, I'm gonna throw a square root of 1985 in there, and then I'm gonna divide by it out front. Okay, we're multiplying that right there. So then therefore, this and this is gonna be our dx, and then we get our x right here, and we're ready to make that substitution. Now when we do this, we used to be a little careful when we update our bounds. Okay, so we have infinity for our top bound. We plug an infinity in there, we get infinity. This other piece goes to zero. Okay, so we're still with infinity up here in our top bound. And then plugging a zero in here, okay, we plug in zero, we get a zero. We plug in a zero here, and this whole thing is heading for minus infinity, regardless of the square root of 1985. So we're gonna have a minus infinity here. Next, we're gonna have e to the minus x squared, with that being our x. And then again, this whole thing, this stuff and that is just our dx. And that works out perfect because we know this, we've got this exactly what we have right here. We know that this is the square root of pi. Okay, so we can write our final answer. We're gonna have e to the minus 3970. We'll do a big square root to bring this 1985 in. And then we're gonna have our square root of pi right here. That's it, thought that was a really good problem. So we'll stop it there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.